Hey everyone, how's it going? So today we are playing with the KS0 Ultra, and specifically we are playing with T-Swift's new overclocks that just got dropped. So, I've already done all the hardware mods. I got the big server fan in the front here, the 3D printed shroud, opened up both sides, and I also did my own little thing where I power the fan through the 19 volts. You can power this fan whichever way you want to, that's just how I do it. Um, if you don't know how to do this, I will leave a card at the top of the video here. It will reference you to my KS0 Pro hardware modifications, and it'll show you how to do it. It's the exact same between the Pro and the Ultra. Also have power meter set up, ambient temperature, so this way we just got something to go. And I have it in Celsius for everyone, 23C in here right now. Also running the 330 watt PSU. This thing's quite a chunky boy here. Um, and kind of a little expensive. I think it was like $125. This is the one that T-Swift recommends if you're going to go full bore overclocking. So I wanted to get that. This way it covers all of it. It's 330 watts. It's insane. So let me get it powered on. And we're going to do a stock test for 30 minutes before we do any other overclocks. Okay, so it's been a half an hour. You can see we're pulling about 103.5, about 104 watts with the fan running. I got the fan as low as I can, which is actually running at about 5.8 volts output to the fan. And anything lower, the fan literally shuts off. So with that being said, on stock firmware, we are only getting 265 giga hash. And you can see we've been running for 34. That's because if you look, the chip temperatures are maybe 36, 35, 37. That's it. The chips are running too cold with that fan. So it definitely proves that stock firmware and these chips like to run around 70C. So let me go ahead. I'm going to throw in the first firmware update, which should be, I think it's like 515 giga hash. Hold on. Let me see here. So the first one we're going to do is a 505 giga hash. And each one of these has three files there's an l1 which is for low power save a few watts as long as you can actually get the 505 giga hash uh that comes down to silicon lottery they have the regular which should work on most of your miners and then if you really lost the silicon lottery they have a high power one so this way you can get that 505 giga hash i'm going to try each one and see which one gets me up to where it should be although i might not hit 505 and 562 with the external fan on because I probably won't get the chips hot enough. So we'll see. Let me load up the 505 and see what we get. Okay, so we got a half an hour on the 505 giga hash firmware. You can see we are pulling 141 watts. Ambient temperature in here is still the same. Fan is still running at the lowest possible speed of 5.8 volts on the output. And we are getting 428 giga hash on the five minute right here so it's definitely better than the stock but look at the chips they've only gone up a few degrees so that's why we're still not hitting 505 the 505 giga hash will mostly work with fully stocked units that would allow the chips to actually run a little hotter and as you can also tell the firmware version t swift 505 giga hash l so I won the silicon lottery. All the chips are still communicating perfectly fine. They're just not warm enough to give the right hash rate. So let's jump up to the next stop. Okay, so it's actually been um, 37 minutes this time. We are currently pulling 164.5 watts. Still 24, 25C down here. And on the 562 giga hash firmware, we are getting... 524 not too bad we're getting close because the chips are warming up we're in the low 40 mid 40s for most of them so they're getting happy but they're not there yet you might be able to actually still run this overclock without the main fan and just run on the internal i'm not sure i'm not going to test that but let's jump up to the next one okay so a half an hour on the 568 giga hash firmware you see we're pulling 190 watts they say 200 this is still running on the low power firmware which is great uh 25c in the room unit's still running still doing 5.7 5.8 volts the fan is at its lowest setting and we can see 
We are running T Swift 618 giga hash firmware. Five minute hash rate is 568 giga hash. And the temperatures we're actually getting to 50 C. Now let me switch on over because this actually did hit 618 or something like that. Let me switch over here. So we look up here. Okay, we hit 617 giga hash. So we finally found a threshold where we can use the fan at its lowest setting and we still get our hash rate out. So the next one we got to try is, hold on, 667 giga hash, which would be 235 watts power. It would probably be about 225. I'm seeing about a 10 watt drop since I'm using the low power version. So let's try that. Okay, so we are running the 676 giga hash overclock firmware and we are pulling just under 250 watts. A little bit more because I had to crank the fan from 5.8 volts up to 10 volts. Not because the ASIC chips were getting hot, the MOSFET was getting hot. Even though I put the little gold or gold copper heat sinks onto all four MOSFETs, it was getting way too hot. You can see right now, the chips themselves, we're only talking a high of 53C, but the thing is, the board temperature input, 63 degrees Celsius, when I had the fan running at 5.9 volts at a slower speed, that would hit 76C, and it would probably just crash, go down to like 15 watts and just sit in idle mode. So, this is why T-Swift tells you, you need a high-powered fan for this to actually work. So let me turn it down and you'll see a crash. Okay, that's much better. Now you can hear me. So we're going to let the temperatures climb. You're going to see the board temperature probably go up here. It refreshes once every 10 seconds. And I may speed this part up. There's 65C. And it just crashed at 83C board temperature. We got the ASIC chips up to 56C. You can see we just dropped down to 10 volt or 10 volts, 10 watts right now. And that's why you cannot use a USB fan to cool these. You need a high airflow fan. So hopefully it will actually, I think it just freezes up now, so it won't show anything. So we're not freezing up because the ASIC chips are getting too hot. We're freezing up and crashing because at lower fan speeds, the MOSFETs are overheating and a protection relay or whatever is going on in here and trying to save the unit so it doesn't overheat itself massively. So it will work at 676 giga hash. I'm not going to try the 700 giga hash because I don't want to blow up my good unit here. So thanks for watching. All links for firmware, parts, stuff like that will be down in the video description below. And I'll catch you on the next video.